What's good with YouTube? It is your boy Vaughn, and as you guys can see by the title, we are back with a new reaction video for you guys today. And in this one, we're gonna be reacting to Darman, girl fakes rich to marry billionaire. What happens next is shocking. You know what's crazy is like when it comes to like gold diggers and just like women that get married with dudes nowadays and then that that are rich or whatever, and then they just divorce them and they take everything. Like that stuff's becoming more and more popular you know every year man so i'm interested into seeing how she finessed her way into this one the original video link will always be in the description down below while you guys are down there if you could please follow me on my tiktok i would greatly appreciate that man thank you guys for the continued support also and without further ado we're gonna go ahead and run a dive right into this let's get it and in a fancy restaurant pretending to be a billionaire heiress so I can find a rich husband. Yeah, <laughs> day. So she's been trying to finesse her way for a while now, it seemed like. It wasn't working. This is my 11th date like this, and the lies were getting on top of me. I couldn't keep doing this. Stop that. You're not nervous, are you? Right, she got I'm tremors and shit. Nervous. You're making me lie again. I can't keep going on these scammy setups. Well, it's not a complete lie. We used to be billionaires before your father made that ridiculous stock investment mm. but we're not rich anymore. so her family's getting her to do this with her and okay we're, not lying. Okay. we're completely tricking them i'm so sick of going on these dates marriage is about love and not money nonsense marriage is a way for families to come together to combine wealth and power well, i mean that's depressing there's different lanes you know when it comes to this family shit. anymore is that it but that you know that, that 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 does happen you know a lot how much we've been struggling lately right you know your sister's medical bills. Do you want her to stop her treatment? Do you want to abandon her now when she needs you more than ever? Mmm. Mmm. Fine. I ain't gonna lie. Like, that would make anybody, you know, that would make anybody do something that they weren't comfortable do doing it. for their loved one, for sure. For Tulip. Good girl. It's gonna be great. Damn, y'all treat y'all daughter like a pet. Damn. Now get ready. Why did they, hold up? Did the dad just caress the hair? This is the oh. family we've met so far. <laughs> I'm just seeing his hand lightly oh, grab her hair go. in the corner, in the bottom corner of the screen, bro. Uh, now these guys look like some billionaires. Good to see you. This is our son, Jack. Especially uh, Hi, who we got you? right here? We got a. Uh, You're so handsome. You'd be perfect for our girl. <laughs> What's Captain America's name so again? <laughs> what, did you uh, say? what is his name? Uh, this is our daughter, Lily. Isn't she gorgeous? Mom, what is this? You told me that we were just going to lunch with some friends. Did you set me up with some rich girl again? Jack, don't be so rude. I just sit down and give her a chance. Now. Fine. He's one of the, he, his parents are billionaire. He's chilling. I ain't gonna lie. I didn't know he was this son. Let's get this over with. Okay, then. Jack, stand on, this stand on business. Oh my god. I would be a terrible husband. Yeah. <laughs> you really do not want to marry me, okay? <laughs> and my parents, oh my god. He probably like, yeah, I got a mansion over here for this hoe. I got a mansion over here for this hoe. Like, I'm rich, baby. Like, you'd hate him because my mom, <laughs> she's constantly complaining. Stop it. <laughs> this is what you get for tricking me into this. Wow, he's brave. <laughs> the dad don't even I've never been able to talk back to my parents this way. Am I weak? No. I'm so sorry. He, he hasn't respect grown up a bit. He, he just wants to stay single forever. And I know. I never talk back to my parents. I, I know that. I mean, I know I'll get my ass with my mommy or dad instead. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, cultural differences. <laughs> you guys know how it goes. I watched him get up and storm out, and I realized. This man was different from all the men I'd met so far. He was better than them. He was better Wait, than Wait, so me. she really, yeah, she really fell in love with this man off of that. That's crazy. That I fought my parents again, begging for us to find another way out. I was going to put up a fight, just like Jack, but my mom wasn't giving in. Don't give me a hard time. No, no, I'm telling you. Let's just find multiple jobs. We'll all work harder together. We don't have to trick people. Work hard. Do you hear yourself? Do you really think okay, we're gonna not pay a off your sister's debt by working harder? Or do you want to pass it on to her? 
since clearly you don't seem to think she's your responsibility. I never said that. Jack's family really liked you. They've personally invited you to their house. You are not messing up this chance for us. Got it? Hey, you have to talk to her like, dude, why are you putting her on the spot like that? Because I'm telling I knew I should have fought back, just like Jack did, but I couldn't. I had too much at stake. At least the dad stood up for her, because the Anchor mom is talking a little too, too crazy. I ain't gonna lie. The next day. All right, you look Why like a criminal so in this scene, Shorty. I ain't gonna lie to you. Why did my lie. sister have to fall sick? Why did my dad have to lose all our money? Mm. I was furious at my parents, at myself, at this whole twisted world. I'm so tired of this. You are not leaving. I am sick and tired of this disrespect. Do you do something? Huh? Hmm. Why are they fighting? We took the effort to apologize to that girl's parents and invite her over here. Now, you are not leaving without seeing her. I told you that you cannot force me to marry or meet someone that I don't want. There's nothing you can do to change me. Yes, there is. I can disinherit you and remove you from the company. What? Do you <laughs> think I want a useless philanderer for a son? Do you think that Damn. someone without a wife or an heir has the right to inherit what I've built? Mm -hmm. Take one step off this property today. I ain't gonna lie, the dad's standing on business right now. He's standing on that shit. Okay. I will ensure that you are penniless. Stop it. Oh, Lily, you're here. What are you doing? Why are you talking to your son like that? Who do you think you are to raise your voice at me? Mm -hmm. I will deal with my son however I see fit. I ain't gonna lie, his voice is kind of weird though. Like it's like it's almost like you wouldn't be able to take him serious, was but he was standing on business with his son. If though. you're threatening your son by forcing him to make a life-changing decision, then you are a bad parent. Excuse me. Do you know who I am? Yeah, you're a bad parent. Why you little? <laughs> okay, that's enough, Dad. <laughs> come on, we're out of here. Look what you did. Look, 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 look how smooth he was. He grabbed her hand. Come on, come with me, shorty. <laughs> He liked her all of a sudden. Is she okay? Thank you for sticking up for me, but you shouldn't have done that because my father is not a good person. No, he was horrible to you. I couldn't watch it. Thank you. But again, you really didn't need to do that, especially after how rude I was to you yesterday. I didn't think you were rude at all. I was actually amazed at how you fought back. I wish I could be more like you. I want to be more like you. Mm. The fact is, my parents forced me to pursue you two. They made me come here, but I don't have to listen to them. I know the difference between right and wrong, and this is wrong. So I can't do this. I'll leave you alone now, but it was nice to meet you, Jack. Lily, wait. I have an idea. <laughs> the way she looked at him, she was like, yeah, <laughs> like she, like she knew what the, <laughs> like she knew what she was. What if we tell our parents that we're dating? They can't force us to get married immediately, right? Mm. We can buy some time, and they probably wouldn't bother us again for at least a year. Mm. If my parents left, see, me look, I ain't gonna lie. There's people like this out there that are down setups. to like. To, to help each other out like this, like, bro, I ain't myself. gonna lie, that would be lit. That would be lit to find somebody that was with you like that. Let's if y'all needed it for each other, All that right. would be lit. We have a deal. And so I and look, she might be getting off a bag. Hey, you know what I mean? Both our parents. He definitely finna give her some money. So later that week, we announced that we were dating to our parents. My mom was so over the moon that she hugged me for the first time in years. My daughter is going to marry a billionaire. Calm down, mom. Don't <laughs> rush us. The mom is OD. The, the mom know, is know, OD. Honey, the mom is an extra so gold happy. digger, bro. That's oh crazy. This is so That's exciting. crazy. <laughs> my daughter's going to marry a billionaire. Now that That's I how she thought about it. <laughs> I got a second job working as a freelancer online, and I spent several nights pouring over my laptop. Of course. I had to go to work during the day, too, and the whole hassle left me exhausted. In the middle of it all, I had to go on regular dates with Jack, or my parents would get suspicious. But the odd thing was, 
These so-called dates were actually really fun. Since we weren't really together, there was no pressure. I could just be myself. We watched movies, That's went lit, to bro. museums, and ate till our stomachs hurt. That's lit. That's I ain't gonna lie. This right here could really build you a bond with somebody and then, you know, things just happen naturally, bro. This is like just letting things In happen. In my stressful, hectic life, Jack was a breath of fun and fresh air. I couldn't help but look forward to meeting him with my whole heart. But whenever the feelings got too strong, I squashed them down. Remember, Lily, you're dirt poor and you lied to him. He'll never date someone like you. Mm. Are you all right? You look down. No, I'm fine. It was pretty stressful trying to hide my lies from him. I was working so much that I often had to cancel on him. And I had to make a different excuse each time. I could tell he was getting suspicious. All right. Damn, I didn't even think about that part. <laughs> but he does One like her though. I was working at my waitressing job and I saw Jack about to walk inside. If he found out I was a waitress, he'd definitely know I was a liar. I threw off my apron, pulled down my hair and rushed to a table to pretend I was a customer. Hey, what are you doing here? That's crazy. Uh, I was just eating. Alone? Yeah. Yeah. Why are you here? I was just grabbing a coffee. Why are you sweaty and out of breath? Oh, uh, I just did like 10 jumping jacks. <laughs> Lily, are you, um, are you, are you seeing someone else? I mean, not, not that it, not that I care. I just... No, I was just here alone. I feel like you're hiding something from me. <laughs> Just then, my manager came out of the kitchen. Oh, shit. Here we go. Here we go. For some reason, I feel like Jack is going to... And I gonna... panicked. What if she asked me to get back to work? I jumped to my feet, made an excuse, and raced out of the cafe. I actually have to go to the bathroom. What, outside? Yeah, the bathrooms in here are gross. <laughs> this was not sustainable. Yep, she if talked I wanted to him. any chance of being in Jack's life... I had to come clean to him myself. I gathered up the courage that week and went over to his house to see him. But when I got there, I found some unexpected guests in his living room. What's going on here? Hey, Lily, I'm glad you made it. You invited her here? Yeah, she said she wanted to come, so I said yes. Besides, Lily's my girlfriend. I didn't know he had a girlfriend. My parents <laughs> are already trying to set me up with someone else. Can you believe that? <laughs> Amy is gorgeous. She's well read. And she's from an esteemed family. So is Lily. No, she's not. Mm. In fact, I'm glad you're here, Miss Lily. I get to expose you to your face. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Bro, the dad is the most... He is the most ruthless character in this whole episode. What are you talking about? <laughs> After the uh, embarrassing I manner, she spoke you to, to me last time, I did some research. Turns out your father made some horrible investments in the stock market, didn't he? You're completely broke, aren't you? And you just came after Jack for our money. That's not true, Dad. Lily's never pushed me to marry her or be with her. She spends time with me because she likes me, not because I'm rich. I can't believe that you would make stuff up about her just to make me feel... Jack, inad stop. I can't lie anymore. It's true. I'm broke. What? We're not billionaires. And I'm not a wealthy heiress. In fact, I think my parents are like a million dollars in debt. Damn. And we went after you because you're wealthy. No way. But that's not why I continue to stay with you. I really loved hanging out with you and getting to know you. That was all real. Nonsense. You were just trying to trick Jack into falling for you. I've seen manipulative women like you before. God only knows what would have happened to Jack if I hadn't stepped in. I'm sorry, Jack. I would never take advantage of you. You have to believe me.
I ain't gonna lie, for them to be billionaires, Finally, that place is kind of like me. You know what I mean? And it came out in the worst way possible. <coughs> I wanted to. Y'all don't live in like myself, a modern ass place. I waited too on the long. outside and inside. And now and you're billionaires. The opportunity was gone forever. I, I get it's just acting, but you know. And exhausted, I had only one place left to go. I rushed to the hospital to be by my sister's side. I tried to keep my composure, but I didn't want to bother Tulip. My mother came storming into the room, looking utterly furious. Lily, Jack's parents just called me. You told them we were a million dollars in debt? They found out on their own. I just owned up to it. Because you yelled at them first, or else they would have never checked. Isn't that true? Yes. We lost one of the richest families because of you. I cannot believe you ruined this for me. So, so, I don't so like the stupid, mama at all. But I am forgiving you. We'll find you a new husband. I'll set up some more dates. No. What? I said, no. I'm not being set up anymore. And I'm not going out with random guys anymore. And I'm not lying for you anymore. <laughs> Feeling all brave, huh? After I forgave you for messing it up with Jack's parents? You're gonna be selfish and ungrateful and leave Tulip alone? If you really cared about Tulip, you'd have three jobs like I do. Thanks. But all you care about is your personal wealth and status and you use me for it. Mm. How dare you? I raised you and you'll do as I say. I'll never listen to you again. I'll never let you manipulate me again. Make your own money. Ahem. The moment we were alone, Tulip demanded to know what happened. The full story. I finally told my sister everything that happened from the start. Lily, you, you really let our parents do all that to you? Why? Because we're in a mountain of debt. Dad's debt, the mortgage, and... And my medical bills. That's what you were gonna say, right? Lily, did you do all this for me? No. Then why did you do it? I mean, we had a plan, remember? We were gonna start our own online fashion business and pay it all off. <laughs> Tulip dreams are great, but they're not reality. We are so far in debt that we can't even get a loan. So you'll marry someone just to pay off my bills? I mean, you're making yourself unhappy. I would do anything for you. For family. I know that. But you should really tell that boy Jack about me. Absolutely not. I will not use you as an excuse for my lies. I've hurt him enough, and I just need to leave him alone. Of yeah. course, Tulip wasn't going to listen to me. I ain't going to lie. She is putting herself through all kinds of stuff, bro. Like, like this is too much... You know, I fell asleep person. beside her bed. But when the morning came, she must have called Jack. I was woken up by the touch of warm fingers on my head. I looked up to see Jack looking down at me. Jack? Hmm. What are you doing here? Well, your sister texted me on your phone and she gave me the address, so here I am. Tulip? What? You were being all mopey, so I had to do it. Now you can talk it out. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me about your sister and all the jobs that you were doing? I would have understood. Because I didn't want to use her as an excuse. It was me who decided to lie. And I followed my mom's schemes. But you were doing it because you were in a bad situation. Lily, you should have trusted me and told me. I didn't want you to think that I'm a liar. I don't think you're a liar. Well, I did last night. <laughs> After <laughs> everything your sister told me, I, I'm not angry at you, Lily. Really? Yeah. You weren't being evil. You I mean, clearly, Jack survive. isn't like his parents. Yes, you lied to me, but... You he's rich, worry. but he's also on the normal side. And you know what I mean? He was born into a rich me. family with their inheritance. You were working so. hard to solve your problems on your own. I mean, how can I be mad at you for that? 
You're a good person, silly. Don't hide from me. So we can still be friends? Unless you're still seeing that other girl from yesterday. Is that a... Is that, is that jealousy that I smell? No. <laughs> Actually, um... No, yeah, I, uh, I'm not seeing her because I was, was hoping that you'd go out with me. What? Yeah. I like you, Lily. You're beautiful. And you're funny and you're kinder than you know. I really want to yeah. start spending time with you and get to know you and take you out for real. Uh. But there's one condition. What's that? I'm paying your sister's medical bill. No. Come on. No, absolutely not. I can't let you do that. The whole point was to not spend your money. I know, but it's only a million bucks. <laughs> <laughs> He's standing on business talking about, but it's only a <laughs> Bro, <laughs> that just took me out. I ain't gonna lie. Bro, what? Spend your money. I know. <laughs> But it's only a million bucks. Bro. And I'd be happy to spend it on you. <laughs> oh, we. Damn, I love they fell in love that quickly. That's crazy. A whole little 20 minute of episode. Course, Jack didn't listen to me either. <laughs> I didn't let him pay Tulip's bill, but he did become the very first investor in my company with Tulip. When she got better, Tulip and I finally started our company together. Okay, okay. And so they handled years, it the right way still. Okay. To pay off all our debts ourselves. We even had some money left over for my small uh, wedding with Jack. Uh, Tulip was made of honor, of course. And neither of our parents showed up. But we were still blissfully happy. That's why I can't watch Dark Man no more, y'all. Your boy ain't never been married. Your boy ain't never had kids. I need this in my life. This was our fairy tale. W episode. Boy, did I miss the Darman content. Okay, I ain't gonna lie. That was a good way to come back into this. I can't wait to react to the next one. If you guys enjoy the Darman videos, please let me know in the comment section down below. The original video will always be in the description. And if you guys could please follow my TikTok, I will greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys for the continued support. And that does it for this one. I will see you guys in the next one. We are out. Peace.